Hi everybody, so today I thought I'm gonna double check the sex of my boa constrictor. Um, her name's Red. Um, I'm almost 100% sure she's a female, but today we're gonna go over um, how to actually sex your snake using probes. So first we'll just start off with the different size probes that you have and what you're gonna need, okay? So you've got different sizes, so you've got small for like your smaller snakes, babies and all that kind of thing, clue grids and stuff like that. Then you've got your medium size, which I usually use this one for my ball pythons to be honest. Um, then you've got bigger, obviously the bigger snake and then you've got humongous ones for stuff I, I take it for more like massive retics and Burmese pythons and anacondas and um, all that lovely lovely jubbly stuff so first things first what you're going to need is probes if you don't have any probes then I suggest you <laughs> probably best thing to do if you especially if you're breeding reptiles or you're you know, you want, I don't know, you've just gone out and bought yourself a ball pipe and someone said, it's a male, and then you've gone, I'm going to go buy a female. I do exactly the same thing I did before I did this. Um, so, Sapphire, originally when I first bought her, I was told it was a male. So, years went on thinking, I've got a male, I need to buy a female. So I went and bought a female, and... Uh, Anyway, bought this female and I kept thinking, so why, why aren't they like locking? Why aren't they? There's, there's nothing going on. Anyway, so a couple of years have gone by and I thought, do you know what? I must be doing something wrong. So, and then I thought, I'm going to buy some probes. and get them off Amazon um, and Reptile Shop. I got these from Reptile Shop. Um, ended up getting, bringing these home, obviously. Sex in. Sapphire, who at the time was called Paul, because <laughs> of the little alien heads on him. And uh, turned out he was a she. And I had two females that obviously are not going to lock up. They're not going to breed. There's nothing's going to happen. So, long story short, and again, rid of the other female, keeping Sapphire, like, who was originally called Paul, the male. Um, who's obviously female and yeah so basically yeah that, that it can happen right it happens to the best of us so always double check even if a breeder does say I've double checked it it's a male it's a female and if you say to them right there and then can you can you show me before I actually pass you cash or you know bank transfer whatever you're doing to buy the, the animal if they say, oh, no, 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 you just take my word for it, it's definitely, yeah, chances are you want to double check. Um, there's a few ways of doing it. When they're smaller, you can, you know, it's called popping. Um, I still haven't quite mastered that yet because I don't like the idea. I mean, you are putting a lot of pressure on their, like, um, genital re uh, region and the tail and trying to, you know, and it's right on the spine, it's like, because they're only, you know, they're still, they're fragile in a way, but although snakes are quite hardy, it's kind of a grey area. I'm not really a fan of popping, but boa constrictors at a certain size and age, especially from hatchlings and what have you, um, and you know, round about, you know, like, you big, you can call, um, you can do speed, speed checking or speed bump, um, so you run your finger, I'll, I'll do that in a separate, uh, separate video. Today, literally, like I said, it's going to be about probing. So we're going to need probes. Um, I use a bit of Vaseline jelly, petroleum jelly. Well, this is, yeah, it's Vaseline, basically, which is totally fine. Make sure these are sterile, which these are sterile. Um, every time I use them, sit, boom, get sterilised, put back in this case. Done. 
so like I said, petroleum jelly, i.e. Vaseline, or um, some people use spit, but we have a lot of bacteria in our mouths. I don't really fancy doing that. So get yourself some Vaseline snake um, snake probes. That's all you're gonna need, okay? Obviously, and your snake. So I'm about to get red out, and I want to try my hardest because she's a fidgeter. She just she's constantly like I want to go everywhere. I need to move. I'm going here. I'm going. Yeah, she's like that. So I'll go fetch her now. So this is my girl Red. Like I said, I'm almost hundred percent sure she is a she, but we're gonna double check. So first things first, tail end. Now you can visually sex, um, but it's, sometimes it can be a bit difficult. So. Where the residual limbs used to be, so i.e. the spurs, which if I can get her to stop moving. No, get off my spray bottle. No, come here. Oh, like I said, she's a fidget. Oh, come on. Oh. Right, that's it. So, they have spurs. Hey, can you see that there? Look, that's an old vis vis vestigial limb that over through evolution is just become useless and they're now used for mating on males so males have bigger spurs longer spurs give me i want your tail come back here um oh, sorry oh, thank god she's not she's not even like fully grown um so yeah males use them for breeding and what he'll do is he'll tickle the female same with ball pythons um, most uh, snake species, apart from colubrids, I don't think I've ever seen. No, I don't think I've ever seen one on a colubrid actually, like a corn snake or something like that. Wait, enough rappy rappy, You're crushing my fingers. Oh, right. Anyway, so, oh god, she's on her tail, strong. Jesus. So. Right here near the cloaca, there's that. There's a scale here, big scale, single scale. That is where you put the probe. So you put the probe down first, then it goes that way, because this is where their sexual organs are. When the tail, when the tail. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, baby, you're strong. You get your jelly. You choose the correct probe for the size of your snake yeah that's about right then you what I like to do get that oh come on babe what are you doing now oh, this is quite difficult on your own usually it'd help if you had a sec second pair of hands but unfortunately we don't have residual limbs that have been gone through evolution we're just stuck what well, we do actually, coccyx, the tailbone. Um, anyway, oh, red, babe, babe, what are you doing? Right, just get your tail. Right. Oh my god, this is difficult. Right, I don't know if you. Excuse me, two seconds. Oh, red, babe, I know you're exploring, but I'm stuck. Hey, what's all this for? You're gonna stay still so I can check. Right, bowers don't like to stay still. Oh, oh my god. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Can I have this arm back now? Oh, for God's sake. Right. So here we are. No, I don't want it near my face. Okay. And then you oh, come here. No, no. Oh, I really could do with second pair of hands. If anyone else has this problem and you're trying to sex a snake, no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Red. Uh oh. That is literally her strength right now, is lifting my arm up. Oh, God. You're safe. Daddy's not going to let anything happen. 
okay I just need to check because I want to breed you at some point next year or the year after oh my god <sighs> right okay okay right so let's quit try and do this quickly so you want to get well that um I've just literally lost the word for it now uh cloaca you want to find the central vent I think she's tensing up so she's not going to let me in that's it oh come on baby that's it loosen up don't that's it don't be so tense that's better that's better and then you find she ain't letting me she's tensing up too much she's moving too much right i've done a video on ball pythons it's exactly the same process but with a boa i'm not going to give up that easy but i'm really trying it she's knackering me out look at this right babe i need to do this okay i've not i've not done a youtube video for ages and i need to show the people that i'm still alive and i still i'm doing stuff Thing is, big snakes, they don't have much, um, what's the word, stamina, like me, she ain't, I've got some stamina. <laughs> so, right, I was almost going to hold a tail in my mouth or not. <laughs> right, right, okay. Babe, look, I know you just want to come out and play. But you're making this very difficult. <sighs> Alright. And she's off again. I'm just going to explain it. Because I physically can't. She's just moving too much. I haven't got a second pair of hands that are willing to hold. Bed. So. The probe. <sighs> Alright. Oh, I know. Sorry, shutting down to me, missus. So, the probe goes in a little bit. Well, actually, I might be able to now. Hey! Oh, okay. Goes in. Uh, two seconds. So, I've lost that position now. Oh, this video is basically going to be probably a 15 minute long video. Of me just wrestling. So you then oh that's never a good idea. Letting a snake go around your throat. Because bad things happen. And always try and keep a snake like that if you can. Because it only takes literally two, three seconds, put enough pressure here, you are out. Right, you have fun doing that whilst Daddy does this. You have a little taste of yeah, right? Yes. There's other bows around. Give me a tail. Oh, she's not having it. Oh. So the probe goes in a little bit. And then you... So as it goes in, you then... She's not playing ball, so I'll explain it this way. So you've got the thing. Here's the, the, the snake's tail. This goes in that way a little bit. Just to get it under the first scale. And then there's two holes two holes there's two like tunnel like channels if you want to call them channels call them channels i can't think of the actual name right now and then you slowly push up with a female give me a sec her tail is literally it Get off. so a mate well sorry yeah female it will only go in maybe what Two, maybe three subcotter scales, which are these scales on this bit. Okay. Oh, I might be able to do it now. Okay. No, stay there, babe. Right. So it goes in like so. Come on, babe. Relax. Daddy's not going to hurt you. Okay. Right. 
okay, shouldn't be allowed too much. Right, let me there. So, it should only go, like I said, two, three max, three uh, sulcotal scales, maybe a little tiny bit more. So realistically, I'm going to have to wash these now anyway. I'm going to have to sterilise, sterilise it. Should only go in about that much, if that, right? Maybe a little bit more because they are bigger snakes. Males will go in quite a bit. You're talking a male will go in, what? One, two, three, four. Maybe five or six subcoal scales down. And you can't really see, but subcoal scales are these scales here. So from the cloaca, the opening here where the poo and everything else comes out of, and where they also do the matey matey, they're subcoal they're sub scales. They're sub scales. Um, that's it, you just relax. You're not gonna let me, you just want cuddles. Right, I'm taking it, she just wants cuddles. We're gonna go for that. And we'll do it another time, yeah? Shall we do it another time? Look at this. Who knew you said boas or snakes are nasty, nasty animals? She's a babe. Hang on, you're a babe. Look at that face. How can. Look. Look, look at that. Mm. See? It's all about letting the animal know you're not going to hurt it. Hey, I'm not going to hurt you. Silly. And do you know what? It's amazing. Once you tame a snake or show it love and, you know, handle it regularly, letting it know. It's safe. You're not going to harm it. Eventually they get to the point where they're like this. I stroke on the chin. And I ain't got to worry about her. I say that and then the next thing I go, <laughs> Anyway, I'm sorry I couldn't actually show you. She's just too fidgety. I don't have a second pair of hands here to help me. Um, but I'm, I'm planning to hopefully get her a bit fatter next year and then uh, breed this baby. She's only a normal, I think so anyway, nobody actually knows what she's, um, exactly what her genetics are, she could be het, whatever, nobody knows. But I just want to breed it so I can get some of her little babies because reptiles and snakes also pass down their calmness um it's actually genetic as well so if you have a really loving kind of puppy dog tame proper tame like reptile saint lizard it actually gets passed down in in uh, the genes so because she's so soft and so gentle she literally her babies will be calm as oak noodles the same Noodle is exactly the same. Like, I'll quickly get Noodle out so you can see him. Second thoughts, no I won't because I've not long fed him. And I don't really want to disturb him. Red on the other hand, we'll put you back in a minute, alright babe? Alright? Yeah? So guys, like I said, I'm really sorry about this video. I didn't actually get a chance to show you. If you scroll through my YouTube channel, um, there is a video on how to do it with ball pythons. It's exactly the same process, just with a bigger snake. Okay? Um, like I said, you can visually sex boas, kind of. Well, you can, but they're not always, it's not always going to be 100% accurate. Not like probing. I know she's a female, but where the hell are you going? Um, like I said, all you've got to remember is you need probes and some kind of lubrication. You can actually buy, I think you can buy proper reptile lube. Um, but to be honest with you, Vaseline does just as good. And that's the end of today's video. We'll do another, I want to start doing this a bit more. Um, I've missed doing it, I've just I've just not had time or chance. I, I work during the week, I work literally all the time 
so I never get a chance to do videos. I don't wrong, I spend a lot of time on my reptile still. See him, I always come to him first thing in the morning when I wake up, ready for, like before I go to work. And then as soon as I get home, I spend quite a bit of time with him as well. And then I spend family time and everything else. And then by the time I thought about doing the video, they get a chance anyway. Thank you for the people that have subscribed. And if you think about subscribing, please do. It'd be great to help build this channel up to, to get me to be able to focus on doing this a bit more, spend a bit more time on my reptiles, helping educate if I can, you know, if it's educational, even better, you know, if it's helped you get over a fear or, you know, like I've said in some other videos, if you want to ask any question, ask, because at the end of the day, there's no better person to ask than someone who actually owns reptiles and who actually gives a uh, a rat's arse about them because there's plenty of people out there that are like oh god keep reptiles I've got like 20 reptiles but most of them are in really bad ways like yeah I know a few people like that well I don't know them like friend wise but I've, I know of people that have been like oh I'm really good with reptiles and blah 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 blah, blah. and then when you see how they're kept that person wants shooting so we're gonna end this video um give this video a like a thumbs up um if you like this video if not you know whatever um but yeah peace out to everyone stay cold and uh keep loving reptiles